All right, guys, Rowdy Yates, High Plains Biochar. We're here with the uh, Continue Tiki today. I think you guys have probably already seen our quick overview video, but this is our version of the Contiki uh, kiln that's very popular around the world. We've solved a lot of the issues uh, as far as making it for less labor, uh, less water usage, more forgiving for larger pieces, cleaner burning, and low fire risk. So today we're gonna to kind of show you a little bit more detail about how this machine operates. So we've got some wood and some paper loaded in the machine here. We're getting ready to go ahead and uh, light this off and uh, we'll, we'll make some biochar today. One of the things I want you guys to really notice about this machine is the clean emissions. We're really able by controlling the uh, smoke coming out of the, the wood and fully containing it, we're able to really get a lot cleaner emissions. All right, guys, so we've been running now for about half an hour. Um, we're gonna look over here. It looks like we are at we're about 580 C, uh, and that's kind of in one of the cooler zones in there. There are parts of this that are actually a little bit warmer. So we've got a little bit of wind out here today, so we put a cap on one of our intake vents to keep things running really nice. But uh, I'm getting ready to uh, add a little bit of wood in here. Uh, today, we're just using basically sawmill waste. Uh, as you can see, these are just different chunks of uh, sawmill waste that we've got around here. So here's uh, what it looks like inside. All right, guys, we're all about wrapped up with our burn. As you can see in here, everything has fallen through the grate. We've got just the last few pieces here and uh, we will be wrapped up and ready to make some biochar. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna kick our quench pump on. We're gonna kick our auger on and uh, start making some biochar. All right, guys, so now our biochar is coming out of our auger. It's quenched, um, and uh, as you can see, it's sized nice and small, so it's ready and much more usable than some of the larger pieces that you get out of the regular time tiki. That's how easy it is to make biochar with the continued tiki from High Plains Biochar.